Hello, hello, and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at five, that's right, five open D songs, um, all played by Stone Gossard. He does love an open tuning. Now, to tune to this is pretty simple. Your E goes down to D. A and D stay the same. G goes down just one fret to uh, F sharp. B goes down two uh, frets to A. And same for the top E, that goes down to D2. All right, let's crack on. So first up, we're gonna go for Oceans. Pretty straightforward opening riff. You just got one finger on the 12th fret on the G string. And you just strum all the strings. Then you just put your first finger, you bar the whole 11th fret, then take your second finger off and play it around again. All right. Then you're going to play this. the 10th fret but then put your third finger on the 12th fret on the G. So it's up, down, up, down. Then you put your little finger on the 13th fret. This is all the, um, this is just, all that is happening on the G string, right? I'm just strumming. But I'm putting in. Then we're going to play, you're going to be putting your um, second and third I find easiest on the third and fifth string. Strum all six though. And you play that round, okay? So that is the riff. You know the riff. So it's 12, 14, 17 is what you're going to do. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And you can pick out the odd. Pick out the 17th um, fretted notes there if you want. Back to the 12th. But then you're going to go to this. Where you're barring the whole 10th fret again there, right? So you're going to play. Okay, so that's slowly again. And round, okay. And that is it. Next up, Go, one of my favourites. So you're fretting the fifth fret on the um, A and B string. Next riff you're playing. Now you can play that with a hammer on here. If you want, or just... Either way is fine. So it's one, two, three, four, second fret, three there, right? And then so slowly. That's how I do it. Then you've got this hammer on pull off. That is zero to zero on the A. Then hit the third fret on the E string, or D string, and slide up. Chorus goes. And that is the same pattern we played at the beginning, but it's just... I'm always using my second and third. Slide there. That one 
ears all open. <laughs> And then you're up here on the 12th fret playing. Alright, and at the end of the phrase you play. Next up, Leash, absolute bagging tune off verses. Basically, the intro is just. you're playing there is the low three notes, ninth fret fretted, two and then a. So you're hammering on from the uh, ninth to tenth and then back on. And then you can do this part. is very Keith Richard-esque. So bar the whole 10th fret. And then you play a standard, what would be a D major chord there. But because we're in this weird tuning, you get that nice suspended sound. And I think the next part goes. So you put your little finger on the 13th fret on the A, your third finger on the 12th fret on the D. And the rhythm's subtly different, so you're going to play... And the little run-up before that is just... 12... On the A string, then a... 10, 11, 12... Back to the 12th on the A... Also, Right, another nice easy one, nothing as it seems. We're going to start on the second fret. The strumming pattern is just down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then down one fret, back up for two bars, right? That's the first part. The next part is simple, it just goes. That's really straightforward. You start on the fifth fret. You can actually play the all the strings there. This is an A, I think. You're going to play 12, 11, 10. Then back down to the second fret. Next part mixes it up slightly and extends it. Um, kind of combines the two riffs with... So that's the fifth fret to the, the this weird A chord. Then you're going to play two one o oh, one. And that's it. Then you go into this. Simple enough, you're just doing six, five, four, two, um, four eighth notes of each. Then back to that shape. Towards the end of that phrase, it hangs on the four for two bars. I think 
that's it for that one. I've saved the best to last. This is literally one of my favourite riffs that Stone's ever written. Might be one of yours. <laughs> So, that's the intro, and you can play an open A there, three, nor five, but it's, it's kind of palm muted that open um, A, right? then you play five and then the open D, and then a run down, six, five, three, nor. you play this rundown. Five, three on the A. Rests all on the, the low D now. Six, five, three, zero, three, five. Now the verse riff is all nice and muted, so it's going to be... Which is basically same as before, but you're going to do this kind of weird slide up. Okay, so that's low. So after that, you just do a palm mute, but slide up with a couple of whackers as well. Then you go into this kind of intro riff again with that. But he strums all of the strings. Then you're going to play. goes round until you play. All right, and then back into that. So, what you do in there is, barring the whole 12th fret, and then you play a minor shape, so you get your third and your fourth fingers on the 10th fret, but with the 8th fret completely um, covered. Okay. Then you go up to the D and G and do the same movement. That's it. Then 12 to 10. And when um, Mike goes for his bit, I like to do that. I like to do a little bend there as well. Stone probably doesn't, but you know, you can. Next riff is just this. Ten, eleven, twelve. And then they open uh, low D. I'm just playing with my um, second, third, and fourth fingers there. So slowly. Alright, and then you're into the solo, and he's just playing just some whackers. Then you've got this. Classic. So that slowly is slide up to the 12th fret on the A, then you play the open D and do a pull off from the 10th of the open. It's quite subtle, right? And then play that again. Then you play the 10th fret on the next string up. 
back to the 12th there, right? And then you're back into the chorus again, and I think those are all the riffs. So there you have it, five tunes in open D tuning by Mr. Stone Gossard. Ledge, hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon. Cheers, bye-bye.